Dude, it's always the same guy arguing. Has anyone else noticed that? Like the drama and stuff. Dude, I I've noticed this throughout my entire life. It's always the same people. It's always the same people starting the drama, starting the arguing, the crying, the whining, trying to fight people. I'll never forget this. In middle school, sixth grade, first time all the different elementary schools came together, and there was a whole bunch of people. And there was this one girl in particular, no matter what class it was in, what was going on, what the situation was, she always was crying to the teacher, talking about something, complaining about someone, saying this and that. And it, I had like multiple classes with her and it was nonstop, dude. It was awful. And it was in my gym class one time. She was crying about something. Then our teacher, you could tell she just had it. And she's like, okay, I mean, go to the office then, go complain. And as soon as she walked out the door, the teacher comes walking back to us laughing. You don't know, guys, isn't it funny how it always seems to be the same person complaining about the same stuff every single day? And that mo that like memories burned into my head. Like I remember that so vividly because I realized like and as I've gone through the rest of life so far, it's like that is so true. And watching it here on Street Outlaws drivers meet. And I was just talking about like this is the best drivers meet we've seen. There's like a back and forth between these guys. The four or five are like, you know, doing their thing. And the guys they're racing, they're saying their stuff. They're saying who they want to race. And they're arguing and disagreeing about some stuff, but they're coming to agreements in the end. Nothing's escalating. No one is fighting. No one is yelling. No one is getting all mad. Then it comes to Reaper's race. And Reaper is telling this guy to go F himself. He's screaming and yelling. His face is bright red. He's saying, you want to fight this and that? He's saying, he's not moving. And I'm just like, dude, you guys are literally, were in the chat earlier this episode. Saying something about Reaper. I'm like, I don't want to say nothing about him yet. But it's like, it's hard not to because it's just like, he is, it's always him. And the thing is, dude, in this instance, the guy he's arguing with, yelling with, screaming at, looks like he's 8'5". You just can't make it up. Some Sometimes it's just... Like, it is what it is. Some people are just like that. And you just got to deal with it. With Street Outlaw's case, like, do Reaper, the thing is, too, he says all the time, like, they make him appear as this crazy villain guy. But, like, it's, has it not been every time? Yeah, Eric, I'm exactly not hating, just saying. Like, I'm not trying to hate on him here. I, Reaper's got some of the coolest cars we've seen on Street Outlaws. They look so sick. I like seeing him on the show because I like his cars. But, like, in a driver's meeting and stuff, it's always, like, it's always him. It's always him screaming, yelling, fighting, and arguing. And like Eric Graham, you said, we're not hating. We're just saying it is what it is. 